Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and on to a slightly different creation. So today, what we're actually making is something that you guys might be able to uh, to make at home as well. I've tried to, with this, basically make it so it's something that you can make it on a very low budget. It's not <laughs> it's not like one of those videos where they say, oh, this is a low budget and it's like a thousand pounds. This is literally five pounds, five dollars. I know on YouTube there's loads of different videos of how to make bows, all different types, and <laughs> And bow craftsmen will be absolutely crying at what I'm about to do. <laughs> People who make them perfectly out of a piece of you and things like that. Uh, but with this, it's basically just a fun bow that I used to uh, used to make. So with this, it is. It really couldn't be any more simple. So you basically get just these bamboo packs that you can get from any sort of uh, hardware store. And... What you do, again, I say it's not <laughs> its not very pretty, but it does work, normally, normally. <laughs> so with this, you just literally get the bamboo. Whereas the bamboo, it starts to go uh, sort of, it's thick on one side. I'll show up to the other camera. Thick on one side and thin on the other. Uh, and you want to even it out. So basically, both ends have the equal amount of thick ends and thin ends. So I'll just quickly have a look at that. And yeah, like I say, these I used to make all the time. They're not they're not gonna be a two hundred <laughs> they're not gonna be a YouTube breaking two hundred pound draw weight bow. It's not like that, it's just a fun bow that you can make. Once you've got those nicely even so you've got an equal-ish amount of thick ends on one and the same on the other, you then, <laughs> again, I say all of the uh, the woodworking experts out there are gonna go mad, but <laughs> you basically use cable ties. So what I used to use uh, when I was younger, because I basically didn't know a cable tie existed, <laughs> was was just baler twine. So uh, for making hay bales, it's the most basic type of uh, sort of nylon thread, and you can just wind it around in four places normally. So at both ends and then slightly closer to the middle and that gives you a nice decent sort of strength um, strength bow that holds all the, the limbs together or the limbs, <laughs> the bits of bamboo When you've got it all in place pull the cable ties a little bit tighter And then what you have to do at the ends, you need a place to notch the string. So whatever type of bowstring you're using, I normally, as I say, I used to use uh, when I was younger, just baler twine. Um, you can, you need a string that's obviously very strong, but that won't actually stretch. So I'm just putting another one on here and it's just basically to get it to stay where it is. And that basically gives you your your <laughs> your bow itself. So you've got you probably with this you could fit a couple more uh, pieces of bamboo in. But I found that um, if you put too many, <laughs> if you put too many, it's not that it, <laughs> it's not that it's not flexible anymore. It literally is just a stick. <laughs> it's just like pulling. It's trying to pull a tree trunk. You you literally can't bend it. So you have to like work out, um, have a bit of fun and play, and try to work out how many pieces of bamboo is actually the the perfect, the optimum amount. So for the actual bowstring at the moment for this one. I was trying to think what's a, a nice cheap thing that people could get relatively easily and this is what I came up with so it's it's one of the old you know the light pull switches for um for your bathroom so with this this in theory shouldn't stretch or shouldn't stretch too much so what I'm going to do I'll show you on the other camera there it is just putting it through so you want to find you want to find a place, you see where it's got different grooves and gaps, you want to find a place that it will fit through and hold in nice and snugly. 
So like that. You see? It's just pulled through. And then to get the actual bowstring, so you've got it connected on one end, you then to actually get it into the other end, you need to give it quite a bit of a bend. So you can see <laughs> see it's a bit of a struggle. And you just need to pull it down. And then let it go. So you've got a nice nice bow to be able to pull there. <laughs> now onto the arrow. So with this it's basically I have used uh, a chopped down piece of bamboo in the past, or used to use that. Uh, it's just if you do use that, watch out because when you fire, the, the bamboo with all the little nodules on it will cut the back of your hand pretty blooming nicely. <laughs> so just make sure you wear uh, a leather glove or a, uh, a welding gauntlet, that sort of thing, on your hand that's holding the bow if you use uh, bamboo arrows. Um, and with this, what I use is just very cheap wooden doweling. With this it's about half an inch uh, and then here I'll show on the other camera I basically chop uh, these feathers I bought from a craft shop but you can literally just use feathers you pick up off the street just make sure they're clean <laughs> uh, so this is super glued on uh, and then a bit of um, tape there and then just cut a narrow little notch there we go just on the back of the arrow and then it's choosing it's trying to work out what you want so Obviously, if you're younger, I'd advise just fitting uh, almost like a walking stick, the rubber blunt end of a walking stick. Put that on and tape that on because then you've got, uh, I wouldn't say a safe arrow, but you've got something that's a lot less dangerous than it could be. We, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we want something a bit more interesting. So what I ended up doing was crafting a drill bit into, <laughs> into a bodkin head. So you've got that there. And then a piece of threaded bar into a lovely, whoo, <laughs> a lovely sharp needle bodkin. So we're just attaching the uh, the first arrow head I'm going to use. So here, you see, and I know this is the most basic thing, but it's basically just taping it on. And then I think now. <laughs> is definitely the time to test it out. Now, this might look like I'm firing it at a piece of foam on an old steel chair, and that's because I am. So, <laughs> you make do with what you've got, you know. <laughs> so, now to notch the arrow and see how it goes. I'd call that a success, but we've got to test it a few more times as well. <sighs> right, so <laughs> it turns out the old uh, pull cable was not that strong. Definitely don't use that, uh, unless in your country you have unbelievably strong uh, light pull cord. Uh, use some type of really heavily wound nylon thread. Uh, so <laughs> I basically what happened then was I pulled the bow back, the string snapped and I punched myself straight in the face. So definitely don't do that. It's, I'd, I'd advise not to do that. So <laughs> basically what I've done now, uh, I've gone and I've got uh, one of the, the bows I've made, probably five or six of these. This is an older one that I made uh, and it's still just showing you the basic uh, premise. So with this one I used twine, so this is nylon twine, basically exactly the same uh, job as the uh, cable ties. But like I say, when I was younger I didn't know cable ties existed. So the nylon twine just holds it all together, holds it there as well, holds it here and then the same on the end. And then I've just used that same nylon twine as the bowstring, so it's nice and taut. So hopefully I'll, <laughs> I'll do a a test to show you how good these bamboo bows can be and hopefully I won't punch myself in the face again. <laughs> Let's see with this bow mark two um, to, uh, to see hopefully this time I won't punch myself in the face when the bowstring snaps but uh, let's see how powerful it is and then go and check out the damage after. Right so let's see the damage. So uh, well you know, it's, it's kind of near the middle, it's, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so with this, it is, like I said, a big, 
thick four inch chunk of uh, very very solid archery foam and you can see it's gone right the way through so it's got quite a nice bit of power there behind it let's go and test it on some other things next let's try it on a nice piece of armor plate ish so this is a piece of uh, 0.7 mil uh, mild steel Ooh. made a nice dent let's go and have a look and then see if the needle bodkin can do any better so there as you can see it nearly nearly made it through it's a big big dent let's uh, fit up the arrow with the needle bodkin and see what that does to it you saw it, it went through and hung on but it's nearly through there let's go and have a look right so we can see let's have a look at the arrow so it's oh that's uh, as this is only mild steel that's <laughs> That's really kinked over the end there, uh, but you can see, you can see where it went in, see, nicely in, so the the, uh, the foam felt a little bit, but not too much, <laughs> but let's have one more go, see if we can actually get it to stick in there. Needle bodkin armour plate, round two. Well... <laughs> If, if knocking the armor plate off the, the target counts, then, you know, let's go and have a look at the damage. Right, so we can see the same thing's happened, actually. So you can see the, <laughs> the arrow is really nicely curved over now. Um, and it's made, it's made a bigger hole. So that was the first one. That was the second one. So it has gone through, just not quite enough power there to, uh, to stick it straight through. Now, really, there is only one more uh, sort of test left to do according to this style of video so but wait a minute what's that I see <gasps> bottle at 12 o'clock shoot I think we showed that bottle what for. Anyway, cheers guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. Thank you. Wait a minute, one minute, one minute. <laughs> I've just, after I turned the camera off, what I did was with the bow, I literally got the bowstring and I wound it round one more, really tight. It was hard to do one more time. And it's now doubled the power, I would say. <laughs> I'll just show you a second. So, walking up to the target, it doesn't look too different from directly behind, then all of a sudden you go, what? Oh my god, <laughs> look at that, that is crazy. I mean, with the, the bow as it was before, I mean, the, the arrowhead poked through about this much, and now look at it, that is absolute madness. Just that one wind of, uh, of string around the top of the bow, and it, I, it literally, it feels when you fire it as well. The kick, it feels like it's double the power. Great fun. So like I was saying, just if you guys do have a go at making one of these, please be careful. And if you're a child or even an adult sometimes, just uh, use a, a rubber blunt on the end instead of a metal, <laughs> a metal spike. But um, yeah, with this, just play, just have a bit of fun. Just uh, try different amounts of bamboo in the bow itself. Try different bow strings. It's all about having a bit of a, a creative day. So uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video guys. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. Thank you very much.